During an online seminar, senior lecturer in the Department of Environmental Science at UNAM, Dr. Clinton Hay said, recent research results have shown that fish species in the Kabango River are declining. People start catching fish to make money. And unfortunate, our river systems cannot handle a commercial enterprise. I mean, we outfish the sea. Just think how easy it is to actually outfish the, uh, uh, our rivers. Fish constitute a significant food source for crocodiles, accounting for 98% of their diet. According to Dr. Hay, with a rising human population along the Kabango River, conflicts between crocodiles and people are expected to increase. To address this concern, a study was initiated to evaluate the behavior of people, fish and crocodiles, with the aim of developing strategies to prevent attacks while also safeguarding the future of crocodiles amidst uncertainty. Preliminary results from the study shows that some crocodiles are leaving protected areas like the Mahango Game Park to search for food. Researchers have been tagging and tracking some crocodiles for more than three years. And Dr. Hay talks about an incident where a reptile attacked a woman in 2021. The crocodile that attacked the, the, the lady is not a really a large crocodile. So it's not always your biggest crocodiles that attack people because the biggest crocodile have got a more diverse uh, food range because they can also take antelopes. In the park, there's quite a bit of antelopes, but your smaller crocodiles feed mainly on fish. So there's the medium size that actually seems to be more dangerous to people. This is just, you know, some of the thoughts we are getting, as I said, we're not making any conclusions yet because we're still busy with, with this uh, project. Preliminary results from this study also show that hungry crocodiles tend to not be afraid of human activity. Before the attack, the crocodile was actually visiting these areas and food paths and it seems like observing people and to have sort of a knowledge of the movement of people, learning where people are and what they are doing, you know, when they come to fetch, how long they stay, what they do. It seems like the decline of fish in the Kavango River has a domino effect on the ecosystem. And Dr. Hay says the Ministry of Fisheries and Marine Resources, in collaboration with the Namibia Wildlife Foundation, have started to gazette particular areas as fish protected areas. If you protect an area and you can manage it, and we also facilitate that communities, we empower them to, to uh, manage these areas, to have pockets in different areas where we can hopefully have an increase in, in fish abundance. Francis Shahama, NBC News, Rundu.